Hello and welcome to this second part of the tutorial on sketching and painting the water or river front. So these are the three colors that I'll be using, cobalt blue, Hansa yellow medium, and this new color that I just bought, permanent red, PR170. Oh, um, you see this ink that I've just used? I thought it was permanent, it's waterproof, but apparently it's not. So it left a mess when I painted it over with water. But I tried to fix the mess by spraying the two pages with water and then quickly use my tissue to basically dab the water, to soak up the water to remove the mess. And I think um, I managed to sort of repair the damage. And now I'm painting with it, so it looks fine. So I basically painted the sky with water, with clean water first because I wanted to paint this very soft transition of blue and grays on the sky. And then later on I will paint the smaller clouds. So yeah, now this sketch actually requires some planning. So in this case here I have painted the tree trunks first I painted anything that is light first because with watercolor you work from light to dark and then for the second stage I will paint the greens so the greens will be much darker and I can use this green to cover the light brown color that I accidentally paint outside of the tree trunks so this is basically the order of painting Sometimes the order of painting is quite important and in this case it does matter. It allows me to paint a bit more, paint the tree trunks a bit more casually and when I'm painting the greens I need to be a bit more careful not to paint over the tree trunks because I want to have that contrast between the green and the coconut trees because when you take a look at the reference photo you will see that the coconut trees, uh, the many trees, they actually contrast quite strongly against a very dark green background. When painting this coconut tree that rises above the tree line, I make sure to get to paint the shape correctly. Now some trees you can recognize them from their shape so you need a sharp a brush with a sharp tip in order to paint those tiny uh, tapering leaves. That's uh, actually pretty important to get right. If it's just a blob of green, it's just any other tree, but this is not any other tree. This is a very recognizable coconut tree. So for the reflections, it's a mix of cobalt blue, Hansa yellow medium, and the red. If you are following this tutorial, you can use any of the three primary colors. It doesn't really uh, matter whether or not you use the same colors as I'm using. So for the reflections, the color of the reflection, it's a bit difficult. I always find it very difficult to get the color of the reflection right. It's this dull, almost muddy green color. So as much as possible, I try to get, I try to mix the same color, but sometimes I just, actually most of the time, I won't be able to get it. But what's important is actually to mix a wash that is dark enough because uh, what we are painting, what we're trying to achieve here is actually to paint the contrast. So even if your color doesn't look exactly the same, if you get the contrast right, you will still have a pretty convincing sketch. So yeah, uh, the next step is to paint the two buildings, these two short buildings with a light wash for the walls and then with this red for the roof. If you find that your red is too vibrant, you can sort of dial it down by adding some yellow and blue, just a tiny bit of yellow and blue just to change the color slightly. Don't add up too much. If not, the color will shift too much. So I use the same color to paint other areas in the sketch such as these uh, short buildings in the far background and also these construction greens, they have some spots of red and um, I'm painting some of the buildings again with grays 
So what I'm trying to do basically is to paint the big shapes first and then work myself down to the details. Now for the windows of this condo, it's cobalt blue straight from the pan but diluted with water. And that wash there, that's a mixture of the three primary colors. Oh, the sketchbook that I'm using here, this is a customized sketchbook that I got the Society of Physical Disabled to make for me. And this paper is Indigo Art Papers, which is handmade watercolor paper that's made with 100% cotton and it works pretty well with watercolor. I've already painted a few pages with watercolor and it, it performs very well with watercolor. So the next step is to paint the shadows for the trees. So these shadows are on the underside of the trees and they will go behind the coconut trees. Make sure to leave the white areas white. There is actually a truck there that is white. And for these coconut trees, I want to give them a bit more definition. I want to make them a just slightly more obvious so I painted some shadows onto the leaves if not those are coconut trees they are sort of just just one block they will just blend into the block of green and this is the background and also when you are painting try to paint with a single wash do not keep dabbing the watercolor onto your paper and create many depths of colors um, it's not going to look that nice so this is pretty much it i have painted everything i wanted to paint it so now i'm just adding some extra details with the white gel pen and using my fountain pen to add some textures by adding some dots here and there to bring back some of the highlights on the water i'm actually using white gouache Gouache is supposed to be opaque and here the white gouache it works really well at bringing back the highlights. So this is the completed sketch. So we can see the coconut tree. It has a very distinct silhouette. And this mixture of Hansai yellow medium and the blue to produce the green. It's a very nice green. And while the wash was still wet, I would sometimes charge in some more yellow to make it more yellow or I would charge in more green, sorry, more blue to make it more green or make it darker. Basically just to give the wash some variation. If it's just a flat wash, it's going to look a bit boring. So everything that is supposed to add variation would help make the sketch more interesting, like the tall and short trees, the vertical trees versus the slanted trees, the foreground versus the background. Anything that is different will help make the sketch more interesting. Alright, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to support the artists that you like. So I earn some money through Patreon and this allows me to keep all my YouTube videos, the thousands of videos that I have made all at free, free of obnoxious ads. Yeah, so thanks for watching today's video. I hope this is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.